welcome to the 60th episode of Recluse Horror. This is a daily horror movie review podcast. Uh, with me again today is Sam. Hey. So, uh, just a little background on the project. Back on my birthday in April, I decided I wanted to watch and review a horror movie every single day. I have done so for the past 327 days, although only the last 60 have been podcasts. Uh, before that, it was text reviews. So each episode, I usually talk about two movies, one of which I've seen that very night, and the other uh, is one that I've reviewed previously in text, uh, aided, of course, by the text review itself. Uh, so thank you, Sam, for being on the podcast today. Yeah. He's very tired today. I am. Uh, so I tried to find one that I thought he might like. So I looked for a horror comedy. Sam, uh, he's a comedy fan. He is also, he, he can watch horror movies, right? I'm a horror fan. Yeah, he's a horror I'm fan. I'm on this podcast. This podcast. 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 I'm here, aren't I? It's uh. true. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, but anyway, I just thought he might like a horror comedy, and it was also really short, so I decided to watch this one. Uh, now, this one is called Mr. Butterscratch from 2015. And no, that's not a name for Benedict Cumberbatch. It's just, you know, like the, all those names they have for Benedict Cumberbatch. I'm sorry. Broccoli Cabbage Patch and stuff. So, I'm sorry, viewers of the podcast. For I was just clarifying. It wasn't even really a joke. These non-jokes. It wasn't really a joke. I know it wasn't. What? I had to bring down the level of humor because we're going to be talking about a horror comedy. All right. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. M Mr. Mr. Butterscratch, Butterscratch uh -huh. is a cat. Mr. Butterscratch a cat is a cat. This short film was about that cat. It's true. That's um, I thought it was pretty good. Uh-huh. Uh, it, it wasn't terribly funny. Uh, and it was... It was kind of funny. Yeah, it was kind of funny. And that's all. But you liked it, though? Yeah, I okay. liked it. All right. That's Sam's re whole review, because he's so tired, he just wants no, to... No, I was just like, getting the initial... Yeah, this the initial impression? Yeah, the initial impression out. Um, So this one comes from the Mega Steakman YouTube channel. Uh, This person is not, like, a strict you know, short film filmmaker in the sense of, like, going to festivals or anything like that. Um, it seems like... Uh, by the way, I, I'm gonna just go ahead and apologize. I wasn't able to get any silence where the heater was on, and uh, uh, Sam is too tired for me to wait any longer. So if you do hear my heater that just kicked on in the background, um, you can deal with it. It'll be fine. Um... But anyway, yeah, he's a he's a YouTuber channel guy. He does mostly uh, video game and film parody videos. Um, but this one was pretty impressive. Uh, I don't mean to sort of talk down about YouTubers. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube channel people who are, like, strictly YouTube people. Um, but generally speaking, you don't find a lot of quality to the, the, like, sort of effects and stuff that they put in. There's not, like... The, in my experience, at least, um, that that's not really the case. But the effects in this were pretty good, right? Um, they were okay. Yeah, the, the, they I, were. I'm uh, comparing this to other YouTube stuff. Well, they had effects, so yeah. Yeah, you, they but usually don't even have. Them. First off, I told you to turn the heater off, but you didn't want to. I get up and go do it. We're gonna argue about the heater in the <laughs> yes, podcast now. Yes, that's what we're doing. Is what I said. So it is not my fault that the heater is on. No, it's not. No, no, no. It's not your fault. It's not your Secondly, fault. Secondly. It's not your fault. I'm thinking it's CG in this. Yeah. Which is weird uh -huh. for the movie. It is weird. And the movie. CG's not great. No, but it's they it's did, pretty competent. They did a good job hiding it, you know? like Try, it, Trying to hide it. Putting it in shadows, which is good. Uh-huh. Or I picking it up in different... Picking the effects up in different sort of cameras and, like... Yeah, yeah. There's that, a lot of a lot of ways to hide that it's not the greatest good, they quality. they did a good job with that. Yeah. Um, it's still better than any CG I've ever seen in a YouTube video that's a strictly YouTube video, as I don't think I've ever seen 
a video, like a YouTube video like that, a let's that play. had a CG CG effect. Like a, well, it, like a Minecraft streamer is not <laughs> putting a lot of CG in there. I mean, in their video, yeah, that's true. I mean, I do watch a lot of LP videos, but I watch other stuff. Yeah. Mostly like game the, theory. Yeah, he doesn't use CG I like a, either. I like a lot of video game stuff. I watch the music videos. I, wa I watch things about... Well, I don't want to say the name of it, but yeah. No, I want... No, just just a video of somebody that we that we know. Like, videos from people that we know. But, uh... No CG in those. No CG in those. In all those that were named. Yeah. So, uh, and, and I've seen where I've seen much worse out of real actual Hollywood movies that came, went into. Yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah, definitely, definitely mm -hmm. low budget stuff today yes. still does worse stuff. Yes, it does. Um, so, so I was really impressed with, with that actually. Yeah, that's a very small aspect of it. The design honest. of the effects are good too. Uh, I appreciated that it was a full story. Mm hmm It was. Almost from beginning to end. Mm hmm There, there is even... Like segments that would be considered like a prologue. Mm hmm. Yeah. And, uh. And an epilogue. And an Definitely epilogue. Definitely a strong which, epilogue. Which was very interesting for what, how long was it? Like five minutes? Uh, I want to say it was like 421 or yeah. something like that. So I think it was under five. Yeah. So that was, that was super nice and super hard to do in a. Mm hmm. In a sh four minutes span of time. So. Yeah. 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 I was uh, I was altogether pretty impressed. The acting is pretty good. Uh, it it it's sort of like a. Well, I don't need to say that, but yeah, I don't know. It's it, just the particular style of it is is really funny. It is sort of reminiscent of of you know one one type of horror movie or another. There's a, right. it parodies a few different sub genres of horror, um, and it does like all of that like pretty well. Yeah, it it, it is also a little confusing. To what exactly is happening, not on True. screen, but where the horror movie takes place. Yeah. Like, what's causing this. Uh-huh. Um, that's a little confusing. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, those, those few things are my, like, really only criticisms, like. Yeah. They were saying, like, I think it's funny. I think it's a very good idea. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Like, I think the idea is very good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And surprise more. Mm -hmm. Short films aren't just this over yeah. and over. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's it the is template. Sort of the template, if nothing else. Yeah, the template. The template does very seem like, solid. Yeah, I mean, there is there is a, a film that has a similar sort of uh, sort of premise uh, that that I can name, but it, it's one that. Um, well, I mean, if you name the genre, or if you name right. the movie, then you're giving out spoilers. Yeah, and, well, and the structure, you know, like. Mm -hmm. Here's the beginning. This is what happens. This is this part. Yeah. Then it ends, and actually something happens at the end. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which you know is hard on four minutes. Like. Oh yeah. yeah. It's like. Uh huh. Getting it all out there as fast as you can. It's still. Mm hmm. Making sense and being interesting. Mm hmm. Yeah. What did you think about the filming? Like the camera. Uh, the filming was good. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it it's POV. Yeah. Um, but all the shots look good in that way. Yeah. Um, the lighting was good. Lighting was pretty good. There's a couple moments where I, I felt like it could have been a little brighter or, or maybe needed yeah. some color correction, but honestly, very, very, very minor stuff. And again, I've seen much worse in like full feature length, real, yeah, real movies, like me too. movies. Yeah. That, that, that I, I keep saying real and I don't mean to say that P YouTube videos are not real. I, I apologize. It's really just a bad habit. But, um... Well, it's a short film made by somebody. Mm -hmm. It's not a full-length feature made by a movie studio. Yeah, yeah. Non-movie studio stuff. Um, I do really like... I really like YouTube stuff. And the more... The more... Uh, YouTube channels that I feel like I... I, I watch the more I realize, like, why have I not been a, a YouTube person for all these years? Why have I not been spending more time on YouTube? Basically. <laughs> Which is, uh... I spend a lot of time on YouTube, so I don't know... I know, you spend a ton of time on YouTube. Sam watches all kinds of cool stuff. It's mostly yeah. LPs. Some other stuff, too. Yeah. Sam likes LP funsies. Yeah. Um. Yeah, is there anything else that, that, uh, that, that you wanted There's to say? There's not a ton more to talk about. It, it, was, it was good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Butterscratch is a really good name. It's super they great. They must have spent, like, hours Trying perfecting to... that. Uh-huh. Various versions of, of Butterscratch. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. You know? Somebody had a whole chalkboard full of them. They're just like, I know switching words around. Uh huh. I just see a full room full of people in lab coats, working on and it, glasses, working on the name, and they're like, uh -huh. "We got it." They are just it. a mess that looks like they've been there for days. Fucking lab technicians, just like you know, lab assistants, but really, and stuff it's passed like, out on the floor. It's really just like it's a great name. The the creators like mom and neighbor. It's and like, like they knew somebody cousins. who had a cat. No, they were just. Like, He's so probably just saying dumb names for cats for oh, fucking oh, some for probably, four year old kid for probably or something. years. This is Mr. Butterscratch. Oh, uh, I'd really I'd be super interested to find out where they came up with that name and if it was something that just immediately came to them. It also kind of seems like it could be one of those things where where um where they came up with the name and, and then, then they're and then made it. Like it the name just popped into somebody's it head. It kinda sounds like a like maybe a mispronunciation. Of something? Of something else. Like butterscotch? Maybe. When you try to type in mustard... Because it is a sound of like, yeah. Yeah. When you try to type in Mr. Buttersna Buttersnatch, it comes up so much as Mr. Butterscotch. Did you mean Mr. Butterscotch? Butterscratch, right? Mr. Yeah, sorry. But, but what did I say? Buttersnatch. Oh, I did. Buttersnatch. I'm thinking of... Um, what are you thinking of? Bandersnatch. I'm thinking of uh, a Bandersnatch. God damn it. Grumpy yeah. Bandersnatch. Yeah. Uh-huh. Grumpy Bandersnatch. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. Uh, yeah, Mr. Butterscratch. Yeah. I hope I said that right at the top. It's Mr. Butterscratch. <laughs> I I think that's the first time I heard that. Okay. Are we done? Uh, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to... One moment while I pull this up on my phone. Okay. Yeah, once again, this is this is from the Mega Steak Man YouTube page. It looks like he's got some other funny stuff there. Uh, and there might be some more horror parodies as well. Uh, or horror comedy films, or whatever it is that you want to call. So, um, definitely check out that page. Uh, got a hell of a lot more viewers and listeners than I do, but uh, I figured I'd, I'd mention it anyway. And uh, well, I always mention. We have a total we of five from. listens. We haven't told the fan. Yeah. The fan. I wonder if he gets that reference. The fan. Hey, the know. fan. Do you get that reference? Let me know. Send me a message. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that that's our review of Mr. Butterscratch from 2015. Uh, nice job. Super awesome. Probably one of the best made YouTube videos I've ever seen. So, uh, and that's our show, because um, Sam needs to leave and go to sleep and do all the things that humans do. So, uh, that's it. If you enjoyed this uh, this podcast for whatever reason, um, please rate, review, subscribe, um, whatever it is on whatever site that you found us. If you do not like the platform that you found us, or if you'd like to share it with a friend, uh, that doesn't have your same platform, you can find us on, uh, YouTube, Player FM, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Podcast Addict, and pretty much any podcatcher out there. Um, the best way that you can help the show is by sharing it with someone, again, that you love or someone that you think would enjoy the, the show. You can reach out to us on social media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, I still am super behind on my Instagram pictures of everything. It's really annoying to, to do. Uh, honestly, I, I kind of hate it. It won't let me do it from a computer, and I have to just go through this whole process, and then I have to tag everything, and I have to put all these tags in. It's just, I hate it. But I did post a new picture today on the Instagram. It's not... <laughs> it's a meme, but... Yeah, so You're really using the podcast time wisely to tell people that you posted a meme you're shit posting i was shit posting on the on, podcast instagram. On instagram i actually found it on facebook too and then saved the picture and moved it over to the instagram because i couldn't i couldn't not post it there it's relevant it's horror related uh yeah so i guess that's it um sam what is your rating for mr bander scratch uh -huh. Mr. <laughs> oh God damn it, Mr. Butterscratch. <laughs> I had something for this. <sighs> then I don't remember. Oh, uh, one one uh, uh, one sad app. One sad app. Yeah, one, one sad, sad music app, app or whatever. Mm. Okay, pretty good. Sad app. That's a good rating. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, and rate this. Um, uh, I'm gonna go with. 35, 35 and a half dinosaur figurines. That's what I'm going to go with. 
That, that includes action figures. That includes Happy Meal toys. That includes, um, like, actual figurines. That includes, like, the little, like, t- tokens you can get in those, those board games or you can use for, like, like, um like D&D or something, all the fig- figurines. And one of them is a Demi-Gorgon. So, that's my that's mine. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, Samuel, say goodbye. 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 <laughs>